Hey, what's happening friends? Today is another beautiful day here in Michigan and today I'm bringing forth another exciting episode of Tool Review Tuesday. I hope you like it. Let's get started. Roll the intro. Alrighty friends, here it is. I can definitely get excited about a portable workbench. So this is the Husky 1500 pound capacity portable workbench. So this one is very versatile. As you can see, you can use it as a miter saw table, router table. It's just portable, built in stabilizers on the feet. That's one thing that I really like. It's awesome because a garage floor is never nice and flat. There's definitely some variances. So the uh, stabilizers do a nice job keeping those legs on the ground and then it has two by four brackets for extended work surfaces and that includes a small parts organizer underneath so this is what it looks like right here and i'm going to show you how it works actually it's what's kind of ironic is this table right here is sitting on top of another table i happen to have two of them i'm going to be doing a giveaway pretty soon so let me just show you how it looks this is what the item how it's all stored nice and neat has this nice carrying handle right here. So when you're done, you can just put it away, lean up against something. And then when you're wanting to use it, this is how it unfolds like this. Check it out. So the nice thing about this portable workbench is for the most part when I'm not using it it'd be nice to just put it away nice and neat and put it stored against a wall or somewhere else even on a shelf nice and flat and you can store other things on top if you want so my plan here is to see if I can get this set up in less than 30 seconds that's my goal my son Sawyer is there with the stopwatch Sawyer are you ready yeah I'm ready all right here we go ready set go Release it, flip the lock in place. One more go. Let's see if I can beat 30 seconds. And stop. How long? Uh 20 seconds. 20 what? 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Awesome. All right, so 20.65 seconds. So now we're gonna see how fast I can put it away. I'm sure it's gonna take a little longer to put it away, but let's see how long that takes. All right, Sawyer's ready with the stopwatch. On your mark, get set, go. Just to make sure you do it the right direction. So I had a little practice with this so far. Stop. How long? 21 seconds. 21 seconds. All right. So basically 20 to 21 seconds to assemble this or to disassemble it. That's awesome. That's quick. All right. So on the back side of it right here, this is where the portable toolbox is stored. You may have heard that clinking around as I'm moving the table. So let me show you what's inside the box right here. All right. So first of all, we have four of these right here. Check these out. So these go... You can put those there, there, or on the ends, and you can lay a two by four. Let me show you. All right, so you can lay a two by four in there. So if you want to extend your work surface, you can do that. Otherwise, you can put them on the ends over here. So it's very versatile. All right, there, you got a two by four going across that way. So it has these two clamps right here that go in the track. These come with it. All right, so these clamps right here, you could drill like a hole in your two by four, run that through. 
So if you want to clamp something down there, you can. All right, so I did see if you want to, if you have your own clamps, the Bessie LM2 clamps, 004 LM, those are the numbers for it. Those will slide into here as well too. All right, then there's some room around the table too where if you want to put these clamps right here, you can put those definitely on the ends. There's a lot of spots to grab. There's some side, places on the sides too. So overall, there's a lot of options for clamping down your work. All right, and then there's some different accessories for the router. You have these two different sizes right here that you can use. So I am going to set this up with a router in it. So you can take this plate off right here and there's all these different holes to line that up with certain routers that you'd have to see which ones will fit it. I have seen online some other people have drilled their own holes to fit their own router so that could be done too. Here's some screws that come with it to uh, screw into your 2x4s. All right, so as I mentioned, this table holds 1,500 pounds. So I was thinking I'd put some weight on it, like some 40 pound bags of rock salt, but you would actually be able to put 37 and a half bags, which is incredible. So 1,500 pounds is a lot of weight. Let's get the dimensions, 34 and a half by 21 three quarter. And this would make a great job site portable work table. So just something to consider. All right, so this is what it looks like when you have the router all ready to go with the fence. And let me show you how I did this. Take the camera off. All right, so I made the fence probably a little longer than I need to. This is a four foot fence. So I drilled some holes in here, kind of a slotted hole, so I can move that around where I want to and just get it kind of perfect. And just kind of clamp, just twist that nice and tight. Once you get that tight, it's not going anywhere. You can squeeze that down. So I use this maple right here. It's nice straight stuff. Uh, they are one by fours. And then I have a dust collection system. So I may finish building something here, like my own box. For right now, I just put hot glue on this part right here. So I could easily pop that off and clean the glue off. That's the great thing about hot glue. So that's good for a temporary thing just to test it out. And it sucks that dust out right away. Then underneath, you can see I got the router hooked up. And for dust collection, I have the Rigid Pro Pack. You can just see, you just set that right there and it just does a great job. All right, so check this out. This is the plate right here for the router and it has all these different holes in it. So you can fit this on several different routers. Now, I did see some people online saying they had a hard time fitting it to their router, even some DeWalt ones, but I have this right here, the DW618, and trying to align the holes in there to here, it was a little tricky at first, I didn't think it worked, but I had to just kind of keep going around and seeing, it's kind of like aligning Mars and Venus together, or something like that. So you can, on certain things, I guess, I'm not sure if you check the Husky website, it might say what, somewhere I did read what routers it fits. I will put a link down below, so if you want to check out this work table, you can find out all the information. So I just want to say though, for sure, it does work with the DW618. If you're interested in this Husky work table, I will have a link down below through the Home Depot so you can order it there and have it shipped to your door. I recently ordered this DeWalt router right here and I got it the next day, the next business day. So I ordered it like on a Tuesday, I got it on a Wednesday, delivered right to my door. I never thought that one day would be possible, but it happened. All right, friends, so I hope you enjoyed this video review of the Husky Portable Work Table. If you have any questions, put them down below. I'll be happy to answer. So I can definitely say that I'm happy with this Husky Portable Work Table. Great to bring to the job site or anywhere. Actually, you can bring it tailgating. Never even thought about that, but you could easily get a game of cards going on this. It would work pretty well. So anyways, if you find this video interesting and informative, please give it a thumbs up and help support my channel. That's it, friends. Thanks for watching. See you next time. If you like this video, I think you might like a few other videos over there to the right, so please click on those. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, hit that button down below. If you want to see them up to throughout the week, please connect with me on Twitter and Instagram. All right, friends. Enjoy.